My addiction doesn't define me. The color of my fur does. This is the best housebroken release that has ever existed. And dare I say good? The jokes in this episode were actually very consistent. And I can say I laughed at a lot of them. Like, I'm very surprised. <laughs> Just kind of weird to say because the B plot is like kind of disgusting and kind of a nothing burger but you know at the same time they were making very good jokes and it's comedy it doesn't really have to be like the most complicated plot ever it was just uh, I really don't like cats eating poop but yeah anyway gonna talk about this episode so basically it's honey's birthday and she's going to do a family reunion with all of her family members and everything like that and so um, she meets up with all of her siblings who share the same birthday and a lot of drama ensues <laughs> Yes! Do I get the gossip from the mother, the sister, or the aunt? <laughs> it's an embarrassment of bitches. Dude, Elsa's voice actor actually slays. Two of her siblings are very mad at her because she was apparently the golden child according to her mother, and uh, she hogged <laughs> the teeth. <laughs> and yeah, these two siblings start calling Honey a bunch of names, and uh, Honey just lashes out at them and causes a small rift within the family. So yeah, the family spends a little bit of time apart and Honey tries to find meaning of why these two siblings are so mean through group therapy. Elsa's running it because Honey's having like a little mental breakdown. It's not really worth talking about. But since Elsa is leading group trying to help Honey, she decides role play, <laughs> role play is the <laughs> best way to uh, talk about your problems and work through your problems, which I, I guess they got it done um, in a stupid way. And right as Honey starts to finally understand why her two siblings are so mad, her two siblings come in in order to <laughs> tell Honey they don't want to speak to her anymore, but you know, they end up like making amends and realizing, you know, excuse me, realizing her mother, <laughs> their mother was the main issue all along. Hey, do you guys want to stay for group? We don't need therapy. It was all our mom's fault. I fuck with this one. I fuck with this joke. And that basically summarizes the main plot, the side plot where Raccoon and the gray one try to talk to this koala bear and then the gray one ends up eating poop while the raccoon is trying to like i guess have sex with this koala bear oh if you're wondering why my eyes all crusty it's because i have chlamydia never forget condoms exist yeah the plots are very interesting but anyway the plots don't really matter in general but um the jokes are actually very good this time around if i had to suggest somebody watch any episode of housebroken I think this would definitely be, actually wait, <laughs> I was about to say this would be the perfect episode, but then again, there's a cat eating koala shit, so is it the best episode? I don't fucking know, dude. But I gotta say, the episode joke-wise was kind of consistent, and you know, I ended up laughing throughout majority of the episode, so I gotta say, and this is a very good, not very good episode, but this is a good episode, Housebroken. I, I applaud you, okay? See, Housebroken fans, I can be positive sometimes, okay? Like, it's just that majority of the show is kind of immoral as fuck, and I'm just like, you know, I don't want to see this, so I'm going to fucking talk about it. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's all for me. How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 